So guys, I'm going to show you how to set up your OpenTX radio to use your gyro to enable auto leveling or bailout. Okay, now this will actually work on any gyro system, airplane, helicopter, anything. Because the main thing that you interact with when you talk about auto leveling or stability mode or bailout is the gyro. The gyro is what you mess with. So, and depending on what you've done, this, that, and the other, uh, you can actually see on your mixes list uh, what channel that your gyro is. Now, most gyros are going to be on channel 5. If it's not, you can research on the internet and maybe figure out where it is. If it's a good flight controller, you will have software for your computer, and you can hook the vehicle up to your computer, and you can look through the software, and you can see what channel your gyro is on. You should even be able to, on all the flight controllers that I currently use, you can actually modify that channel to be whatever you want it to be. But normally, default is channel 5. So, channel 5 gyro, we know that. So we're going to come over to special functions, and we're actually going to interact with channel 5. Right? So we're going to come in here, and we're going to go to switch, and we're going to, for this video's purposes, we're going to use SH and SG. So SG is a three position switch and SH is actually a spring switch that comes back on its own, right? Which is perfect for what we're going to do here. So SH is what I was just messing with, right? SH towards us. Let's go ahead and select that, and we're going to leave it to override, and we're going to say channel 5, and then we're going to say set to negative 20, okay? And then we're going to do one more thing here. Now we do need to enable this, and then we're going to create one more that is, also, that is going to be the SG switch. Right? So the three position. So SG towards us. Override. And then channel five. And then we're also going to set this to negative 25. And then enable. So now we can come into our channel monitor. And we can actually see that the spring switch will turn channel 5 to negative 20, right? And then the three position switch will also turn it to negative 25. Now, most gyros may actually require more than 25% to enable auto leveling and stuff like that. If it does, again, guys, we can just come in here, we can go back to our special functions. Right? And we can make it for more than that. We can make it negative 75, which is, I think, about what I do on my Spirit software. I think it's quite a bit. And then we will make the other one <clears throat> negative 75 as well. Right? Now we can come back in here to channel monitor again. And we can see, so I have it on a dial right now, my gyro, it's channel 5, it's on a dial. So I can adjust it on the fly as I need to if maybe I'm getting some tail wag or something on my heli. But also, if, if I get into a bad situation, I can pull the spring switch, right, just like that, just pulling the spring switch. And as soon as I release the spring switch, say I'm flying and I'm like, oh shit, recover, bam, and then let go of it. And then immediately my gyro is back to normal again. Or if I just want to turn it on at all times, negative 75 on my gyro, just enable auto leveling at all times. Boom. So you can do this really, really easily with the special functions in the TX-16 radio or any open TX radio. This is why I love these freaking things. They are so easy to do whatever it is that you want to do. Sky's the limit.
All right, guys, as always, 